So I was asked how I send Blender models to my 3D printer. So here it is as quickly as possible. If you want a much more detailed breakdown, then check out my Blender to 3D printing playlist, links in the description. But here's the really quick version. You don't really have to do much in Blender. Do make sure you've got no holes in your model. So it's kind of watertight. You might want to decimate your model if it's a really high poly count. This was about 5 million, so I brought it down to half a million. And you can use the decimate modifier for this. So if I go to the spanner, add modifier, decimate, you only really need to do this if you've got millions of faces. You're aiming at about half a million, so bring the ratio down until it gets there. And then it's easiest to just control A to apply the modifier. You don't have to have a face count of half a million. It's just much easier for the slicer program to deal with. It will export faster and you can share your models with other people. Now it used to be in the past that you couldn't have any overlap. So if I go into edit mode with my model and let's go to wireframe. And if I choose this bar going down here, you can see it actually overlaps with the door. That doesn't matter. The slicer program will sort that out. Now the slicer program is the program in between Blender and your printer that sets your file up specifically for your printer. You can resize your models and you can add supports and all things like that within there. So the last thing to do then, I'll go back into object mode, out of wireframe, file, export, and then SDL. You can actually use other file formats, but all slicer programs should deal with .SDLs. You might want to make sure you've got selected objects only if you've got more than one thing in your scene. And if you've got your decimate modifier on, make sure you apply modifiers. The last thing is you want to scale your model. I think it's a hundred times or a thousand times. I can never remember. And it doesn't matter too much because you can always scale it when you go into your slicer program. But the scale is always a bit messed up from Blender to your slicer. Then you click export STL and you can take it to your slicer program and get it ready for printing there. The slicer program I use is Cura 4 and it does an amazing job, but you will have to play with the settings a lot and experiment. So there we go, Blender model to print as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.